address that, add more tricks and toe stabs for the ladies. Boys don't do toe stabs, do they do that anymore? Uh, in the set pieces they do this. A little bit, yeah. So the toe stabs for the boys is only newly brought in. It was only just the girls that used to do them. Um, yeah, so that's where they add the tricks and everything in. Who else do I have left? We have Tonya and Candice when she's open as well. Oh, we have two months. Oh, lovely, we've loads of stuff to show you. Can we do a single drink if you want to next? Yeah, we'll do it without a minute. You do a yeah. single drink? Yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't know if you know, but there's a, in the University of Limerick, we have courses that you can actually go study Irish dance at third level. So, we have undergrad courses, we have postgrad courses, and then we have PhDs that you can um, do all do through your Irish dance. Yeah, so I actually teach at the Irish Women's Academy. I teach kind of traditional repertoire. Um, so that would be my thing. I collect traditional repertoire. You have PhDs? PhD. In, in Irish folk dance? In Irish folk dance. So you can do an academic PhD, which would just be research, and you gather information just about Irish dance and whatever you're looking into, even Irish music. Um, and then there's an arts practice one as well, which would be kind of an investigation of your own practice and what you want to explore and then write about what you find through your own exploration of your dance. So it's really, really cool. There's kind of amazing things happening down there. Yeah. yeah. If you get a chance, you should really go. It's a be beautiful campus and the facilities in there is just amazing. Big, massive studios, just all for dance. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. And you teach at a PhD level? I do. At a PhD level? I teach on the BA and the MA courses. So I did my undergrad in, I did a BA in Irish Music and Dance. Um, I went off for a while and I did um, a Master's then in Trinity. I did an MPhil in Drama and Theatre Studies. Then came back and did my MA in Dance Performance and then I've kind of been performing and teaching ever since. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it is. Yeah, it's really good as well because the students get to be exposed to kind of the top Irish dancers out there. So like yeah. we've had Michael Flatley in all the time, wow. Colin Dunn, Jean Butler has been in. Um, actually, Jean Butler was the extra for the undergrad experience <coughs> for the last few years. She's done two years now. She's not been the extra, but she was for about four years being the extra for the Irish dance nice. performances at the end. At university of in you, in University of Limerick. Yeah. 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 So, you know any dancers out there that want to come study with us? Yeah. No. So we have to come <laughs> back to Liberty. Yeah, because yeah. 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 it's amazing. The amount of students that we have from worldwide, we get loads from the States. We have, the minute we actually have a student from Australia who has come across just to study Irish dance. Now, they, do they just go for a semester or do they do their the whole No, so or? he's doing his four years. He's doing his, yeah, four years yeah. in his undergrad, yeah. Is this the only university in uh, in Ireland that teaches? It's Irish? the only university around the world that has a third level option for Irish dance. Really? Yeah. yeah the only level, only yeah. in the world. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So it, it, it's it's really really special, and it was set up by Michal um, Sullivan. So he set up the music side of it, and then Patrick Foley kind of introduced the dance then into it. So you can do Irish traditional music and Irish traditional dance which no other place can do that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's really, really special. Okay. Single Jig by the lovely Orla. <laughs> so this is another tune type. Different types of dance. You have to learn um, light jigs and then four pipes. So it will depend on the time signature of the light
So if you ever want to look up a single jig from that goes for me. <laughs> um, Connor's going to do his open reel for us. So this is what we could do when you get to kind of championship level and yeah, it's all the fancy jokes and the fancy tricks.
16 hands, yeah. So it goes all the way up. I think we have a few. Yeah, two hands. Two hands, um, I can show you. And then I'm gonna, at the end, I'll teach you a few Mercury dances that will be kind of danced at social events. So we have, while we're in here, we will do the Siege of Venice. And because I can deliver the request, I'll do the Walter and the Mercury class. I'll teach you them dances at the end, but they're kind of for fun, they're social aspects, and it's just getting up in the mirror, basically. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Thank you. You sure have a coat. I don't like this. <laughs> That's where 